folks, this is a video about modifying the battery cover on this breathing pup. So in a previous video, we put a switch in this pup because these breathing pups don't come with an on-off switch. But the on-off switch that we put in is underneath the battery door. So we decided to put magnets in to hold the battery door on instead of using a screw. So you wouldn't have to keep undoing the screw every time you wanted to switch the pup on and off. And that's what we did. But first we had to put a hole in the battery door because the switch was uh, stopping the battery door from closing. That was fairly easy. But when it came to the magnets, it was a lot more complicated than we first thought. So, I hope you enjoy this video, folks, showing uh, how we modified this so that we can easily take the cover on and off to switch the pup on and off. So, to find out where to put the hole, Paul's putting some Sharpie on the switch. Um, he's put a, a label on the underside of the battery door and he's pressing on and it's left a mark there so he knows where to put the hole now. Yeah, so he's drawn a, a rectangle that he needs to cut out. So Paul's going to try a hot blade because that would be easier than trying to cut it out with a hobby drill. Yeah. And uh, this plastic's actually made of ABS, it had, has written on it. So we'll see if that works okay. Okay. Come out, then. Mm. Okay, let's try it out. Yep, seems okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we'll still need to uh, take the, the battery cover off to access the switch to switch it on and off because it's too fiddly to try and get through that hole, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it, it allows the um, cover to go down, but it's the switch doesn't penetrate through the hole enough to mm. operate it easily. Mm. So what we're going to do next, which will be the last job, is to put a magnet One where magnet the screw hole is and a magnet in the battery door. So that uh, the battery cover will stay on, but will easily be taken off. Mm. So the magnet that we got almost fits in, which is that tiny bit tight. So Paul's just going to use um, a drill bit by hand just to make the hole a little bit bigger. That was just such a tiny amount to take it off. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. So Paul's going to use super glue to glue the magnet onto the battery door. It's a super tight fit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. second magnet in now. Pull the holes slightly too small, only slightly, so we're just making it the right size with a reamer. So 
So that's the exact correct size now, should be another tight fit. So you've got it on the right... Um, right polarity, yeah, to pull rather than push. Does look neat, doesn't it? It does. Let's try it out then. Okay, it's not got. It's not holding it down. Right. I think the reason it's not holding it down is uh, because the magnets. Recessed. Yeah, it's recessed by about one or two millimeters. So if we stick another one on top. Uh, right. It might bring it up to the level where they almost touch it. <laughs> Pulled it on. Mm -hmm. Looks better. But it's still not. No, it's still not holding it. So, unfortunately, it still wouldn't uh, grip. And Paul thinks it's because the space between the magnets, uh, it was too much space. So he's actually going to make the hole uh, deeper and put three magnets in so that they will actually touch. So Paul's going to use a hand drill to do this so plastic and make the hole deeper. going to put three magnets in one on top of the other like this and then I'll flush at the bottom yeah so the glue's holding the magnets really well and they hold on to the other magnet really well but what we found is these lugs are stopping the battery door from going down so when you put the lugs in it won't stay down because the lugs are pressing it back so what Paul's going to do is he's going to try and bend these lugs and we'll see if it will go on properly then Okay, so let's see if that's worked. Yes. Oh, finally. So, Paul, do you think it was worth doing? Yes, I think it was. Uh, it was a lot more fiddly than we uh, envisaged. But if we were to do a second version, it would be a lot easier. I mean, really, I don't think these dogs are, are really functional unless you have a... An on off switch because otherwise um you're just forever taking the battery in and out of course yeah and you mm. need it and you would need a screwdriver it's tremendously fiddly um, yeah so all or, we've got to do just now leave is... the door off completely yeah but all you've got to do now is do that mm -hmm. take the door off turn and then off, pop it, it back, back on. on so folks hope you found that interesting and useful and we'll see you next time for some more videos on perfect pets yeah